Now let's talk about this freaking character right here. Let's talk about Neo. I'm about to focus on Neo here right now. Okay, so bear with me here. I'm gonna go on a little bit of a, a little bit of a journey here with Neo. Now this scene I love because it just conveys the problem with the writing. You guys know how I feel about Neo at this point. If you've been following my channel over the last couple of years or last few years, you know how I feel about Neo. Neo is a tool. She's a tool to make things happen for Cinder's storyline. She's not a character. Neo is not a character. Neo is a plot device. I mean, look at this. Look at how stupid this plot device is. I refuse to call her a character. Look at how dumb this plot device is. Back in volume six, she attacks Cinder. Why? Because she blamed Cinder for Roman's death. It took her six to eight months to come up with that. After one fight, Cinder tells her that it was Ruby's fault. I didn't kill your boss. If you want revenge, take it up with Little Red. And she's like, okay, I guess it is Ruby's fault. She, she just goes along with it. Then she was somehow convinced that relics exist. How? By staring at a wall. Now you understand. I've got to get the relic before it can be secured in Atlas. In volume six, Cinder takes Neo to the inside of the vault and she stares at the rock face. She stares at the wall. There's no door there, remember? Because the door is closed because the, the, um, the relic is gone. And she just stares at the rock and say, oh, see, see, now you understand. Is this, this is why we need to get the relic. And she just goes along with it. Why? Because she's not a character. She doesn't think. She's just there as a tool for Cinder. In my mind, I'm thinking, in order for this to make sense, there must be some kind of long game. Neo is playing Cinder. She's trying to fool Cinder. She can't beat Cinder right now because Cinder used her, her maiden power. She, she stopped fighting Cinder when Cinder showed that she has maiden power. She's going to wait and bide her time and then stab Cinder in the back. That's the only thing that makes sense, right? But that's not what she does at all. She agrees to help Cinder, starts taking orders from Cinder. For what reason, I don't know. No! We get what I need first. Then we get what we want. Now go. She has every opportunity to kill Ruby in volume seven. Every opportunity, but she doesn't. She gives Cinder the relic, steals it back from Cinder because Cinder didn't keep her word. And then she gives it back to fucking Cinder. Why? Because she said she's sorry? I'm sorry. How stupid can you be? How could you possibly trust Cinder after everything you've seen? I'll tell you how because she's not a real character. She is a plot device. That's what she is. After all this bullshit, she didn't kill Ruby. She didn't, she didn't even break Ruby's aura. Cinder did that. Then she has a nerve to reach for Cinder, like, Cinder, help me. Like the clown she is. Cinder, help, help me. You have got to be kidding me. You are a clown. Cinder is like, are you really this, stu are you really this stupid? I'm gonna help you? Away with you, plot device. I cast you out. Away with you. It's embarrassing. Now they're probably gonna have Neo team up with Ruby when they go to the freaking Wonderland, wherever the hell that place is. They're gonna have Neo freaking team up with her. And I don't give a, I don't care. Just kill this character off. I'm sick of this character. She's a joke. She's not even a character. I'm sick of this plot device. I don't need her in, in the show anymore. She steals the relic from Oscar, gives it to Cinder, then steals it back from Salem to then give it to Cinder again. It's a joke. The writing for this character is abysmal she is not a character she's a tool and she needs to get off my damn screen rant over jesus christ keep her in chibi where she belongs what a joke